For more than 400 years, loggers have worked the vast woods of northern Maine. The Pelletier family is one of the last in this long tradition. For three generations, they've run a timber harvesting operation that now employs up to 100 people during peak season. Many specialized machines are used in the process of logging, but none is more vital or works harder than the trucks needed to transport the timber. The Pelletiers harvest nearly 200,000 cords of wood per year. That's approximately 450,000 tons, hauled hundreds of miles, sometimes on primitive dirt roads. One truck is trusted above all others to perform this daunting task. Western Star. Around here is like you're about as close to God as you can get around here. You get up in the morning and you might want to bellyache because you gotta get up at two o'clock. When the sun comes up and you see the sky and it's a certain color and, or you see a big cloud of fog over a certain area, you gotta appreciate that. My father trucked wood up in these, these hills back in the early 60s. It took him a day and a half to get to Vermont. Small load of lumber. Things have changed. Two hundred and sixty-four thousand three hundred pounds. So that's uh, we're going to figure it out here. Eighty some tons payload. That's a lot of weight. Money in the bank. Another day, another dollar. The bigger the load, the bigger the payoff. A fully loaded single trailer and truck can have a combined weight of over 200,000 pounds. A double trailer is twice that, well over the posted weight limit of many country roads. I myself would never do a job that I would not ask anybody to do. But added weight has its hazards. Stopping time can be over 100 yards. So you'd better see sharp turns or other hazards far in advance. Sometimes she's rough and sometimes she's nice. But today she's rough. I'm going to try to bring the whole rigging up together. I've seen sometimes we roll them over and we pad, pad fix it, and we reload her and go. We're all brothers. We're all brothers up here. The guys broke down. You're going to drive by him and leave him there to freeze to death in the middle of winter? It might be you next time broke down the side of the road. Weight isn't the only hazard of the job. Log trucks often drive on rural dirt roads 
and one such road is known as the Golden Road. It stretches over 200 miles of backcountry and forested wilderness. When the weather turns bad and it rains hard, that's 200 miles of unforgiving mud. That saying on the top of my bunk, that's true. Little boy's dream, big boy's nightmare. Always on the edge. Best job a man can have. I'm driving one of these. 